Hey up everybody. <clears throat> right, I'm ticking down my list on my loco now and I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting towards end on it and I'm just finalising a few things. And today I'm going to do the firebox retaining nuts stroke screws. Uh, I'm going to make them out of brass, this part. This is knurled. It's got a counterbore in it there and there. This is for the cap head screw to fit in that way. 2BA in the middle for the screw and then when the screws installed it'll just not quite come to the end so that when I when I um, offer it to the lug on the fire on the fire box sorry on the boiler the lug on the boiler it'll find that lug easily before it's before I start to screw It'll all become apparent as I show you when I go over to Loco when I've made it. So I'm going to go over to Marford then and just uh, make two of these and cut two cap head screws to length. Okay, then I'm back from Myford now. I've I've made the uh, the brass nuts. That's the cap head screw cut to length. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to lock tight this cap head screw into the back of the nut. I'll do that later. And then the screw is coming through just bef just a couple of mil before the end of the nut. So that when I put it onto the lug on the boiler, it's gonna it's gonna line up with that lug, so I can screw it on easily and quickly. Right, so it's going to screw onto these two lugs to hold the firebox in place. So the lugs are already soldered into the boiler when I made the boiler. They've got a two ba uh, thread in them and the OD is 5 sixteenths. Now I think in the book, in the Sweet Pea book, it tells you to cut a slot opposite to each other so you can twist the firebox and pull it out. I think that's the idea for a quick release mechanism. But I don't know, but when there's all ashes and coal in that firebox, I think it might be a bit difficult to uh, to twist. I mean, I've got no experience on that, so I'm not. I mean, I might change. I might change this design as as I go along. But I've made this tool in a previous video where I can just uh, hook it under the front of the firebox to pull the old job lot out in one, like a quick release tool. And uh, these two screws that I've just made, they're just going to locate onto that 5 16 diameter lug and screw on. Now no doubt they're going to get quite hot. Uh, I'll just have to play this one by ear and uh, I, may, I may have to change this design, I don't know. And that's it. So I'm going to sign off for now then, and that's another another item ticked off my list. And uh, I'll have a look at my list, and I'll catch you on next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.